William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global at the Garden, joined by Tom Loffler. How are you doing, sir? No, oh, great. It's a great sold-out crowd here at MSG. Uh, looking forward to see uh, AJ fight here tonight, and uh, it's nice energy in there. Triple G's in the house. Mm -hmm. He's going to fight here next week, so we're excited to see him back in the ring. Yeah, talk to me about that, that clash with Steve Rolls next week at the Garden. Yeah, no, it's uh, a lot of people want to see him back in the ring. They don't care who he's fighting, but uh, he picked Steve Rolls, you know, undefeated from Canada, and so everything goes the right way there then we'll see we're gonna try to make the biggest fights for him uh, uh, in the fall. How sort of the uh, change of trainer to Jonathan Banks gone so far? Look he had a lot of success with uh, with Abel he, he went on one of the most historic runs uh, in recent history but there's always room for improvement and you know he feels that uh, he's, he's got a great chemistry with uh, with Jonathan Banks and everything seems to be working out in, in camp you know he looks great in sparring He's got a nutritionist. He's got a strength and conditioning coach now. So, you know, we'll see how that translates into the into the ring uh, June 8th. That's what everyone's looking forward to. Is like, how is he going to look? He was so dominant before. How is he going to look? Can he get better? How is he going to look uh, in the ring on June 8th? Tom, providing G comes through next week, uh, people are going to want the mega fight. See so Canelo and Danny Jacobs, Andrade, all on the zone. So, it should be pretty straightforward to make. You know, the zone has all the the biggest middleweight names, and uh, that was uh, part of the deal with the zone was the clearest path to getting a third fight with Canelo. That's what the fans want to see. That's what Triple G wants to see. Uh, most of the fans thought he either won both fights or had a, one, a win and a draw. So uh, Triple G wants to put an exclamation point on that. But he's not overlooking Steve Rolls at all because if if he doesn't win against Steve Rolls, there is no third Canelo fight. Has G talked about potentially moving up to 68? It depends. It depends on if there's a big fight for him at 68. We were always talking about coming over to the UK, Callum fighting uh, <laughs> Callum Smith or uh, back then uh, Carl Froch. So, uh, yeah, Callum is uh, he's on a good streak right now, and, and that would be a great fight as well. Last question, Tom. Yeah. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders mm -hmm. put out a tweet. Uh, I'm sure you know which one I'm referring to. Do you want to yeah. just make a comment on that? Sure. I mean, look, Billy Joe had his opportunity to fight Triple G, who was a unified champion. He was going to bring all of his titles to the UK to fight Billy Joe. It lasted about 10 days uh, negotiating with Frank, but it was clear that uh, they didn't want the fight at that time. Um, then we were talking to Eubanks. That was about a four-week negotiation, and then uh, Eddie couldn't close the deal with Eubanks. That's how we wound up fighting uh, Kel Brook. But Triple G was willing to go to the UK to fight Billy Joe Saunders. That uh, tweet that he's referring to was a fight in in Kazakhstan, which he did agree to, but the date didn't work out for uh, the UK TV. There was a big soccer game that date, and then when they wanted to switch it, it didn't work for Kazakhstan. So, you know, that's uh, that tweet by itself doesn't have a lot of context to it, but Triple G was gonna gonna uh, go over to the UK and uh, and fight uh, fight Billy Joe Saunders at that time. Right, Tom Loeffler, appreciate your time on IFL TV. Enjoy the rest of the night, and best Thank of luck. We'll get on next week. All right, good. Thank you. William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep.